Adding side spin to your forehand topspin can be effective, but it can also be a lot of fun. There are two types of forehand side spin topspin that you can do. There's the hook and the fade. So the hook is where you're dropping the end of your racket and the fade is where you're lifting the end of your racket. The critical part of adding side spin is the angle of your racket and your wrist. If you have your racket straight, you're going to come straight over the top of the ball and add pure top spin on the ball. But now let's look if we drop the end of our racket down using our wrist, I'm going to brush on the side of the ball and add some side spin, curving the ball from my left to right. Similarly, if I now lift the end of my racket up and my wrist up, I'm going to brush on this side of the ball. And so I'm going to curve the ball from my right to left. When you're playing the side spin top spin, it's important that your arm action is still very similar to your normal top spin. So for your normal top spin, this is what your arm looks like. Now all we're going to do is we're going to change the angle of our wrist and racket to add the side spin. This way or that way. I often see players, instead of doing this, doing this. So right across their body, which tends to lead to a lot of errors. So make sure that you're finishing with your arm in a good high position. So tactically, when should you use the side spin top spin? It's a good idea if your opponent is central to the table to be able to use the side spin to drag them out wide across the table. If you use the hook, then the ball is going to drag out wide there. Or if you use the fade, you're going to drag your opponent way out to the other side of the table. Adding side spin to your top spin also makes it a little bit harder for the blocker. Blockers are used to the ball coming with pure topspin. And for pure topspin, they just keep their bat straight. Now, by adding side spin, the ball is curving, so they need to be able to react to that curve. But once they contact the ball, they also then need to be able to cope with the side spin that's on the ball. So the side spin is going to drag the ball out one way or the other. And they need to angle their racket to be able to counter the side spin on the topspin. It's important before attempting the side spin topspin that you're really confident with your straight topspin. It's important to get the action of your straight topspin correct and then you can start to change the angle of your wrist either down or up. When you're playing with pure topspin, the ball has a better margin for error because the pure topspin will drag the ball straight down. However, with the side spin, the ball isn't dropping as quickly because it's curving. So it's a little bit less accurate and you will find that you'll make some more errors. It's a more difficult stroke. So make sure first up you have your pure topspin correct and then you can start to experiment with the hook and the fade. 